remember back in the day Tryna get that paper each and every single way Niggas say they sliding, but they know that we don't play And they talking murder, but I see that every day, yeah What up, YouTube? How's it going? What's goody? This is your boy, 9993. Back at it again with another video. Let's get it. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Don Tolliver, Private Landing, featuring Justin Bieber and Future. Um, this is also his just recent album that he dropped, Love Sick. I'm um, excited to listen to that full project, but I just wanted to pick one of the, the hot tracks off of the album and then react to it, and uh, this is the one I wound up picking. Uh, so I'm pretty interested to see how this track turns out. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Don Tolliver, I don't know if it's just this verse. I had to listen to more of his music, but I remember I listened to one album, and uh, he reminded me a lot of uh, Travis Scott with how he sounded. So, like, the, the project was cool. It's just the fact that he sounded too much like Travis Scott kind of threw me off from it a little bit. But I wouldn't say the music was bad. Um, and with this one, I don't know if it's just this song in this verse or if it will be throughout the entire project. But he kind of sounds like not just a mix of uh, Travis Scott. He also sounds like uh, Young Thug a little bit, too. Like a mix between the two. So, uh, let's keep going. But I like it so far. It's pretty dope. I guess I keep my candy. She's super so good. When I beat you, Sandy. I got it in Yoko, but it called me Randy. Diamonds and Marjola, AP Canary Yellow. She deserve a patty cause she one of the members For sure When it comes to Sadaba, money not a problem Turn me to a killer, I just smashed a model yeah. Tiffany come blue, her pussy good and pink Paint Chicago in a winter time, I'm ordering minks Selling out arenas, I just murk the streets the street. Copping a brand new castle in the Middle East My bitch said Indian style when we sit down and eat I can do this shit one take, but my style ain't free. Put her on take hoes on no date, this they got pretty feet. I swear, quarter million on her head, quarter million on her head. She mopped it out in the bitch, I can't feel my leg. I swear, I'll snipe down your hoe for a crumb. I gotta uh, pause it real quick. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of Future. I'm not a fan of Future, like, at all. <laughs> you knew me. Future is probably one of the worst artists I've ever listened to. That's just my personal opinion. On here, he's he's fine. He's absolutely fine. Um, he actually fits well on this track. It's just me not being much of a future fan. I do have to say I do like the verse because it does sound really really nice. Um, a lot of times, what people get mixed up with, uh, especially when it comes to rap and everything, even though I'm more of a uh, lyrical bar wordsmith kind of guy, that's what I tend to listen to. And it's not always what. You say sometimes you could just have a nice verse by just flowing absolutely right, just uh, hitting the vibe of the track absolutely right, and you're just a perfect fit for it, so not everything needs to be um, wordy, wordy, spiritual, miracle, and all that shit. So this one's actually, it's all right, it's all right. I like it. I'm a bread, how got rats going out the roof, they busting through the cell. Right. My new bitch shit. Don't tell Justin Bieber about to come through and kill you all too. Justin, 
Try to get some spinning, double cup I'm leaning. So much addictive. So sure. Get some spinning, double cup I'm leaning. Need you to lean in. She wanna come this way, hit it up, Mike away. Hit it up, Mike. Wait, wait. She wanna ride my way. She wanna come this way. She wanna. She wanna. She wanna. She wanna go oh, inside your feelings and I guess I'm too demanding. I guess I'll keep my candy. I try to tell you, but you know that thing is crazy. Just touched down in Miami. I guess I'll keep my candy. I guess I'm too demanding. She wanna ride my wave. She wanna ride my chain. Hit it up, microwave. Come on, share my plate. She wanna ride my wave. She wanna ride my chain. Hit it up, microwave. Come in, share my plate. Mm. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And why I'm not feeling it is because it could have it, it could have been a lot more. If he would have just like did like an actual verse, it was just pretty much just he was kind of just ad libbing throughout the track, pretty much just saying a little bit here, harmonizing there, not really saying much. If it was like a actual verse, kind of like how it was with Don Tolliver in Future. It probably he probably would have had the best verse, but it's just he was just not really saying much throughout the entire track. He's just a little bit here, kind of repeated it. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And if it was just went straight through consistently, him like an actual verse, he would have had the best verse. Um, yeah, Justin's verse, what well, I didn't like it too much because because of that. If it was just been straight through, it would have been really dope. But I'm I'm kind of disappointed by that. Private Landing by Don Tolliver featuring Future and Justin Bieber. And uh, like I said in the uh, during the, the reaction, um, Don Tolliver's verse, he was, it was alright, it was cool. Uh, the only thing that I would have to say that I want to say I don't like per se, but it's just like, meh, um, not really my cup of tea or whatnot, is that he sounds too much like Travis Scott and then in this one, he sounds a little like uh, Young Thug. Shit, why do I keep forgetting his name? But he also sounds like Young Thug throughout the track. So me, myself, I'm more of a, I like hearing originality, especially when it comes through um, singers, pretty much. Uh, his The music's fine. It's not bad. It's just when it sounds like, when it sounds too much like another artist, like it's one thing to hear somebody, yet you can hear the inspiration in it. But when it's just like you sound damn near like a carbon copy, it kind of, for me personally, it's a drawback for me. Uh, future, and like I said again, I'm not a Future fan like at all. Like I don't like really much any, any of his music. It's probably like maybe two songs at the most that I like from Future. One is a feature and one is a full track of, like, of just him. Um, future versus actually all right. Like it was, it was pretty dope. Fit the track perfectly, and then when it came to Justin, Justin's beat is just very, ah, uh, because him vocally is the best out of the three. I don't understand why he didn't have a cons like a whole verse, like a whole straight on through verse with with actually saying a lot of stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't get that part. That one kind of disappointed me a lot. Uh, but nonetheless, the entire track was actually cool. It was uh, it was okay. Um, I like some parts here and there, but um, yeah, it was just it's just pretty much cool. So with that, I'm probably gonna uh, dive into that project, listen to a few more songs, and uh, see how it is. So with that, uh, this will be the end of this video, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.